there's a better way to install trim around windows like you see here in doors, better than the usual piece-by-piece -piece method. I call it the trim frame approach, and it involves fastening all the pieces of trim together into one complete frame and then applying it to the wall. There are a number of advantages, and I want to show you what they are now and how this system works. The trim you see here was installed using the trim frame method, and it offers a couple of advantages. First of all, it's faster than putting trim up piece by piece because you're not jumping back and forth to the saw all the time to get the joints correct. Second of all, the results are perfectly tight, and they will stay that way because the joints are held together with biscuits. Now, one of the things you'll notice is that the trim is made with flat stock that has butt joints connecting the pieces together. I want to show you right now how I deal with that and alternatives for when you want to use molded profile that have to be installed together with miter joints. This is a cross section of the trim that you saw around the door and it's made of three pieces. There's a half inch thick completely flat center section. That's the piece that's butt joined together in the corners. Then there's a small bull nose on the inside edge and a larger bull nose on the outside edge. The flat trim goes together against the door as one unit and then the bull nose profiles are added on either side afterwards. Now if you want to install a molded profile, you have no choice but to use miter joints in order for that molded profile to meet properly with neighboring pieces. And there's another way to use biscuits in this case that works really well. This is an example of a molded profile milled here in the shop that can also be joined in the trim frame method. It has three parts like the others. There's the smaller bull nose on the inside, the larger on the outside, and this center section was actually produced with a wide crown molding bit that was used over part of the piece of the, the wood covering part of the profile of that bit. Joining mitered pieces of trim together for the trim frame approach involves cutting the miters you want gluing them together on their own separately with no biscuit slot in the faces of them and then when the glue is dry carefully plunge some biscuits in across the joint as you see here. You would have to adjust your biscuit joiner so the biscuit doesn't go all the way down in and once you've glued it in and that glue has dried then you saw the biscuits off and you've got a really strong joint with perfect profile alignment something that would be almost impossible to get if you put your biscuit slots in the face of the joint in the conventional way. One situation where trim frames can help is where the drywall extends out past the window frame. This is a flaw that is not unusual and by using the trim frame method with the bull nose trim on the inside extending a little bit past the back edge of the main trim you can cover that flaw up without the messy job of trying to pare back the drywall to meet the window trim. 